You grab an ancient copy of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to sit and think. You feel a great relief. What's that aroma? Piles of magazines sit on the floor. Why look, some woman removed her diamond ring to wash her hands and forgot to take it with her. Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. You've got two choices, hot water or cold water. Oh, I hate making decisions. Score! You turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some writing in the mirror. Ken sent me. That could be important. I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words, Ken sent me, in blood on the paper. You turn off the hot tap and the mist slowly clears. Jeez, did something die in there? You try to pull up the rug. Hey, dork, you got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. Ha <laughs> You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah, what's the password? You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? Come on in. Ah, you recognize this setup from a number of art films you've viewed. The gentleman before you is basically working the front desk. His employee is upstairs, waiting to provide quick expert services to a discriminating clientele. The old clattering teeth trick really breaks the ice at parties, especially if you party with a lot of six-year-olds. You can't believe all the crap Lefty collects. It's the head of a cock. What? What did I say? Whoever shaved this pussy didn't finish the job. It's one of those tasteful calendars that the tool companies put out. Lefties used to have bowls of free nuts at the bar, provided by these nuts, TM, in exchange for promotional consideration. Note, the TM trademark symbol is a registered trademark of Trademark Registry, Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary of Copyright Registered Trademarks, LLC. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. On a stand in the corner is the infamous Butt Bottle, introduced in 1972 by Lowbrow Beverage Company as packaging for their first flavored vodka. The less said about that vodka, the better. It's one of those tasteful calendars that the tool companies put out. I wonder what the artist was getting at. What's happening, man? Just hanging out. What's upstairs? Nothing you'll ever get to see. Why? What is it? It's a woman, little man, and she's too much for you. You're not getting by me. Just put it out of your head. Well, that just makes me want to go up there even more, right? Makes me want to figure out a way to get past you. You're new at this, aren't you? There's a cabinet filled with a wide variety of sex toys, no doubt for the use of customers. The cabinet appears to be locked tight with a combination lock. Bingo! You use the combination on the coaster to quietly unlock the cabinet. 
You dispose of the evidence by tossing the coaster behind the cabinet, where it's unlikely to be found for thousands of years. I'll never forget that number. It's burned into my memory, I think. Wait, what was it? Four something, right? Yes, score one battery operated, sleek, slightly sticky personal massager. You aim the remote at the TV and push the power button. Don't make me wistful. You wouldn't like me when I'm wistful. You've managed to turn on the TV. You've caught Prodigious P's attention, but he doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Hey, don't touch your knob. We'll be back in two and two. Another boring game show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. They're actual litigants with a case pending in California Municipal Court. Another boring real-life white trash catfight show. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. And thank you for your support. You've been a brick through this whole thing. Another boring commercial for wine coolers. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. What you talking about, Willis? Another boring sitcom. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Please have your pet spayed, neutered, or both, just to be safe. Another boring appeal to common decency. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. I love this razor so much I bought the company. And this railroad. And two United States Senators. Another boring infomercial. Prodigious P doesn't seem interested enough in the program to leave his post by the stairs. You aim the remote at the TV and push the channel button. Deeper. Huh? All right. But this is wrong. For God's sakes, I am your accountant. Then give it to me 32% harder. It's a good thing that you did that, Larry. A very good thing. You sort of wished him into the porn field, didn't you? You carefully sneak the remote into Prodigious P's pocket, since you won't be needing it anymore. With Prodigious P presently preoccupied, you're able to proceed. <laughs> 